This is the second video in our Getting Started series uh, with jQuery Mobile and Cordova. When we last left off, we created this Hello World app. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that uh, it has all caps in the header and in, in, in the content. That's something that came along with the CSS in the Cordova initial app. And so I'm going to actually pare this down so it picks up jQuery Mobile uh, styles as a default. So here's the def here's the default from Cordova. All we need to do is just leave it with these three settings on the body. What they do is make our web view in our app act more like an app and less like a web view. So they they don't bring up uh, menus when you hold links, and they don't allow um, text size adjusting like you like it does on a on a web browser. So once we do that, we can go back to our terminal and run Cordova serve again. And then bring up our browser and refresh. And this is the default uh, jQuery mobile style now. Um, and so now that we've got that, let's go on and learn the next little bit which is how to do navigation between two pages. So a jQuery mobile app is a single page web application, meaning that the browser doesn't go back to a server to get more pages every time it changes. Instead, the DOM is rewritten um, based on uh, navigation. And the, the way it works is it uses the, the hash part of the URL to indicate which page to go to and jQuery mobile takes care of all of the uh, Ajax and DOM rewriting for you. So I'll just change this page to be a next page. I'll add a link here. To go to go to that page, and we'll just just to, so we know what's going on. I'll just update the header and the content. Uh, now we have a two-page app where the first page has a link to the next page, where this needs to match the ID of the the page that you want to go to, and let's just run that, see what that's like. And the back button actually works um, as expected. Now in our actual mobile application, that we're not actually going to be in a browser, so there won't be a back button. So we can add in a back. One nice way to do that is by putting a back in the header like you see in mobile apps. So let's do that. We do that with a, a link, just like four. This one goes back to the home. We're putting it in, in the header. And to make it look like a button, we'll set this class as a jQuery mobile class and it makes it look like a button and also put make sure that it's on the left side of the header. Let's take a look at that. That's it running there. Now, one thing that we might want is uh, slide navigations that you see uh, in normal mobile screen navigation, and jQuery mobile supports that directly. We can add that to the anchor there, and then
also in this one. And we want this one to slide the opposite way. So we add data direction reverse. And now we have a simple two-page app with sliding transitions.